Patrick Mahomes, duh. Tom Brady just proved it yet again. Aaron Rodgers, who we were just discussing, of course. Deshaun Watson is amazing. I would take him over Lamar Jackson. Russell Wilson, still, I'd take over Lamar Jackson. Josh Allen and Lamar just went head-to-head. -head. Lamar's got a great defense. Allen's got more weapons. Allen wins, and he does it in more of a traditional style that we know works. Lamar is trying to prove that what he can do works. It may work, and maybe he needs more help, but we need to see him prove it. And finally, here's the controversial one, I imagine, Justin Herbert. Guys, Justin Herbert is 22 years old. He just played for a coach that was so bad that the coach no longer has his job. They had the handcuffs on him all year. He does have weapons. Herbert has weapons that Lamar doesn't have, no doubt about it. But Justin Herbert, not just the eye test where his talent pops off the screen, with the handcuffs on, right? They didn't really let him do his thing. As a 22-year-old, just threw 31 touchdowns against 10 interceptions. So the 67% num completion. So the numbers are there. And then when you just watch him throw that ball. Herbert, if I was starting a franchise, like if Trevor Lawrence turns out to be everything we think he is, he as a rookie will look as good as Justin Herbert. Herbert's mm -hmm. already what people are hoping Trevor Lawrence is going to be. And, and when I look at Stephen A., you have compared him to who? Dan Marino. I've heard guys on our network compare mm -hmm. him to Patrick Mahomes. Mm -hmm. I don't think he's quite Marino or Mahomes, but it is instructive that those are the names we're using. Those are the seven guys I would take before Lamar. Uh, Jeff Saturday, do you see what I have to deal with? I'm listening to Mr. Cliff, Mr. Ravine, <laughs> now have Tom Brady as number two on the list. This is what I have to deal with, Jeff. This is what I have to deal with. That's number one. Hell no. <laughs> listen, listen. Here's the deal. I'm not taking Justin Herbert over Lamar Jackson. Not yet. I'm sorry. I, I, I've got, I know he can fling the football. It's cool. I get it. But damn it, I'm not taking him over Lamar Jackson. That's number one. Josh Allen, I got a lot of faith in Josh Allen. I really, really like this guy. But it's still, I'm not sold on him to that degree as of yet. The Russell Wilsons, the Deshaun Watsons, the Patrick Mahomes, that's a gimme. For one game, a Tom Brady, of course, even though I think over the course of 16 games, I'm going to look at the mobility of Lamar Jackson and not summarily dismiss that. So there's three to four guys definitively I would tell you I would take before Lamar Jackson. But I will remind you, Max Kellerman, it's kind of hard listening to you say these things when I don't know anybody that has <laughs> raved more about Lamar Jackson and what he has done in the regular season than you. And that, and excuse me, and this is why we saw Justin Herbert. It's not like Justin Herbert and it just showed up. It's not like Josh Allen just showed up <laughs> last week. You watched them all year, and just weeks ago, you were talking about Lamar Jackson. So this is what I have to deal with, Jeff Saturday. I'm a bit I confused. A lot of faith in Lamar. A, no, 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 no. We heard you. We heard you. I'm a bit confused, nevertheless, Jeff. But we can talk about Max another day. I'm just going to be of the mindset. I could give you like five of those guys, but Justin Herbert, Josh Allen, still questionable, and Tom Brady only for a game, not over the course of a 16-game season at this stage in his career. For all the things that Matt spent three years mentioning. Go ahead, Jeff. Yeah, l listen, this is – it was interesting when I was listening to you talk about Justin Herbert, Max. It's – it's. Um, I, I have the same argument for Lamar Jackson. I feel like he's playing handcuffed right now with the people that they've surrounded him with. Yeah. I, listen, I love the run game, the, the, the run Could scheme. Be. I think all of that is fantastic. I think you give him some true weapons. If you gave him what Herbert mm -hmm. had in, in with, with the Chargers in Baltimore, wow, right? Like, like now, it's, now, now it's different level scary. You got two dudes who can go take top off and make plays for you and, and, and do those things, and then you let him use his legs and make plays that way. Because I think what gets lost in translation of having a quarterback like Lamar Jackson is this. The fatigue that happens to his body is completely different than a Justin Herbert and honestly, even a Josh Allen to, to a degree. I know Allen is athletic and likes to get out, but not they don't have the same amount of designed runs. Like I, I almost equate Lamar Jackson back to Cam Newton early on, right? Where where they were using him in third and shorts and fourth and shorts and, you know, third and fives, and he's just getting his body beat up. And then you're asking him to be a pocket passer. Like, like the, the ask, I think, for Lamar Jackson is greater. That that's my that's my one hang up when we start comparing him to other quarterbacks is 
if, if you give him those same type of guys on the outside, what does that do to open up his game? I think that's honestly where Baltimore has to focus. Thanks for watching ESPN on YouTube. For live streaming sports and premium content, subscribe to ESPN+. Plus.